What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy V9 the Tech Guru. And y'all already know what the fuck it is, man. Back with another video, man, bringing y'all some Dragon Ball Xenoverse. And I'm gonna talk to you guys about the upcoming movie that's coming out on April the 18th, Dragon Ball Z. Fukatu no F, the revival of F, resurrection of F, whatever the hell you want to call it. <clears throat> it's all the same. Basically, um, this movie is going to be, um, from what I, I've heard and what I've read about it, it's going to be damn good. Finally, they're going to make Vegeta the protagonist. Finally. Because it's, I mean, long overdue, in my opinion. Vegeta's a very, very highly respected character in the series. Highly liked. And just that doesn't doesn't get enough recognition in my opinion. But let's go ahead and get into this. Um, you know, I've read a few things about this. Um, and from what I've seen, it's kind of like the story kind of goes a couple different ways from what I've heard, like leaked information. Some people say there's going to be a new Super Saiyan God um, based on what happened in Battle of Gods, because Vegeta did mention that the next time he wants to be the Super Saiyan God. <clears throat> but there's also been like some rumors that there's not even going to be a Super Saiyan transformation by any of the protagonists in this movie. Even though they clearly show Gohan transforming into Super Saiyan 2. I don't I don't know. That's speculation. I can't call that. But I've seen some pictures. Uh, I don't know if they're confirmed or not. But it showed, of course, Goku with the Super Saiyan God color. His hair was red. But then they showed Vegeta with his being blue. I don't know if that's confirmed or not. I can't call it. I, I've just, it's pure speculation. We have to just, I mean, people can throw their ideas up and put their information out there, but you'll never know until you see the actual movie. That's just my opinion. <clears throat> but, you know, well, I want to talk to you guys about what I think about them using Frieza in particular. You know, in my opinion, I don't think it was such a bad idea to use Frieza. I'm going to tell you why. Because in, in my opinion, I've been watching Dragon Ball Z since I was nine years old. I'm 31 now. So... You know, there's no other villain in this series, period. Besides the, besides the Saiyans, we're not counting Raditz and Turles and Vegeta and Broly. We're not counting those guys. Um, there's no other villain in the series that has a stronger connection to the Saiyans than Frieza, in my opinion. So, I think he's a good choice to use. Now... There are some some sort of loopholes in that theory on how he got back. Some people say he was revived back with the Dragon Balls. You know, they were calling it the worst wish in history by bringing him back. You know, I don't think that if, if that is indeed true, there's a big, big loophole in it. Because from what I remember about the Dragon Balls is that if someone dies <clears throat> and it's like not from natural causes, meaning someone killed him, you can bring that person back. As long as as long as it's within a year's time, according to the timeline, Freeze has been dead for some time. I mean, since since Trunks was a little kid, that's well over one year, in my opinion. So I'm thinking in my mind, something don't add up here. But anyway, if that's true or not, we'll find out. So I hope I hope they're going to keep the movie as canon as possible. So, um, you know, and another thing they brought up, too, was like, you know, this this. This uh, golden transformation. Now, I do believe that is confirmed from Frieza. That that's a new, that's his new form that he's gonna take on. So I'm really excited to see the, his new abilities. I'm really excited to see if he if he can even sense power levels now. Because you know before that was one of Frieza's weaknesses. He could not sense power levels. That's the one villain in the well beyond beyond of course villains before him that couldn't sense power levels. Of course we know Raditz couldn't use a scouter, but Majin Buu was able to, the androids could, Seo could, um, most of the villains after that, even in the terrible Dragon Ball GT, they could sense power levels, but you know, one of the other things that I wanted to definitely bring up and I thought was kind of amazing was the fact that, you know, I saw that they are using all the, the characters from the series in some way, shape or form, which brings me to my favorite character, Gohan. What I don't like about what I'm looking at about his character is that they're, it seems like they're really phasing him out. And I don't like that. I mean, Gohan is a very, very important character in the series. So I just really think that they're, they're kind of like doing him wrong. Not to say that they're, not to say that he didn't have his time to shine because he did. He shined quite a few times in the series. But, you know, in my opinion, I mean, because he beat Garlic Jr. in the Dead Zone, which I think the, that's the only movie 
besides Battle of Gods at this point that's that truly follows a story. Well, beyond Bardock, Father Goku, and the history of Trunks. But the only movie that really follows the series is really The Dead Zone, in my opinion. But I could be wrong. <clears throat> but um, based on my research. But I think that they're really just not doing him right. It just doesn't seem like they're doing Gohan's character right because, you know, they're just not giving him the opportunity to shine the way he needs to because he's still the strongest unfused character in all the series. So, I mean, even stronger than Vegeta. So to not give him the opportunity to shine the way he needs to and not giving him the opportunity to really showcase his skills, to me, is kind of a, a, a letdown, in my opinion, since he's such an important character in the series. But to let Vegeta shine is a great thing. I'm I'm all for that. Because, I mean, Goku gets a little cliche after a while. You know, we always used to seeing Goku going Super Saiyan 1, 2, or 3, finishing him off with either a Dragon Fist or a, or a really strong Kamehameha or a Spirit Bomb or something of that sort. Like, that's too cliche for, for the series. So to, to bring a new protagonist in the series is a good idea. And like I said, as far as the villain, I think Frieza was a great idea. I think that was a phenomenal idea to use him because he has such a strong connection with all the Saiyans. So I'm fully with that. Fully with that. Um, another thing I noticed um, is that um, it seems like I don't know if Beerus is going to be fighting with the Saiyans or just there as a mentor. So I don't really know how that's going to work out. Hopefully we might get to see Whis fight. I mean, that, I think that'd be cool if they actually did that <clears throat> to see finally see Whis fight. Because um, we, I don't think we've ever even, I don't think we, I don't think they've ever showed Whis fight. No, they haven't. Because in Battle of Gods, he didn't. So I, I mean, of course, in the in this game, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, man, this this damn match right here was crazy. I mean, honestly, fighting against Goku, Gohan, and Vegeta, I mean, these guys spam supers, well, ultimates. They run up on you like nobody's business, so I had to keep using 100 times Big Bang Kamehameha because there was no other way to beat these guys. Kind of changing subjects here, but these guys are fucking tough, man. Like, And I'm level 80. I'm maxed out. Like, And these guys, they run up on your ass and just ambush you. They give you the business. But anyway, I'm really, really excited to see what they're going to be doing with this movie. You know, I think it's a great idea for them to keep it going. Akira Toriyama did say he's trying to phase out the Super Saiyan transformation, so I'm kind of wondering what they're going to do with that. Um, but, you know, I'm really, really proud of what the series has been doing. Um, also, if y'all haven't checked this out, check out Dragon Ball Z Light of Hope. It's on it's on YouTube. Check out Dragon Ball Z Light of Hope. It's good. But that's enough of this, y'all. This is your first time checking out my channel. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Smack that like button. It's your boy V9, the tech guru, and I'll see y'all on the next one.